Attention class, this is part two of the ePortfolio. Click on Browse, your file. Click on Browse because you got to upload your resume. So I'm not going to go over this again. That's why I'm sharing this with you. So once you click Browse, you look for your resume because I'm going to be looking for all your documents. Look for your resume from your, you can go to Google Drive or say My Device. Best to say My Device if you got on USB. My Device. Then select files to upload. And that's what you have to go to my device. And then you look for your resume. I'm just going to use my student's resume that I'm working on. Well, she's a former student. Use her resume. And her name is Miss Alice. She's a former graduate. She wanted me to critique her resume. So I'm going to click on her resume instead of mine. And then I upload that. This is just an example. It's uploading. Sir, upload. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You click next. You can also make, make it available for potential employers to see your resume. You can scroll and just write. So potential employers can see your resume once it's uploaded. It says your resume uploaded. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and hide because it's not my resume, it's my former graduate. And then I'm going to click next. Because this is just part of the what? profile. What? Profile. Now, now that I'm in, I can put my picture of me in there. Because this is the edit. And I can change my name if I want to. And then I will click save. After I complete it, all my education, everything has to be completed. You will scroll down and make sure everything is correct. And then you will click on save. Does that make sense? You can put your picture out there as well. You can click on the edit to add your picture. Change. You click on uh, the um, previous work, the current work, yes. the left the recommendation, yes. the knowledge needs, the um, the um, employer the, sheet, the yes. evaluation. Yes. And so I'm gonna go back in to Blackboard so you can see. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm going to look for the portfolio form because I'm going to use the portfolio form to evaluate you. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to look for that form. Make sure I email this portfolio form to you all, and I'm gonna make sure I post an announcement in Blackboard that this is the form that I will be using to grade you on this group. This is the form that I will be evaluating you on. Okay. Your resume, your philosophy needs to be uploaded, your cover letter needs to be uploaded, your career goals, your references. So you have those typed already. So you should upload those documents. Next, you should upload sample work, work in progress, meaning what you 
taking right now, courses you're taking now. Teacher evaluation. If you don't have a teacher evaluation, you can use an employee evaluation. For Ms. Gandy and um, Ms. Morgan, you can use another teacher evaluation. It can be your mentors, but it cannot be me because I am evaluating you. So I cannot type your evaluation for you. It can be a high school teacher evaluation. I think I posted out there the evaluation forms. Did I not? Yes. Okay. Then you have your awards. You can take a picture of it if you don't have a scanner. If you got a scanner, you can scan your awards and then upload it as a PDF file. But if you don't, you can take a picture and that's a JPEG file. Graduation application form, form that should be out there. If not, I would email it transcripts, you need to make sure you go to Bannerwell and once you get your transcript, go to your degree works and save it as a PDF. Open up and save it to your, di your, your disk or your, your hard drive or your USB. So uh, any certificates, certifications and accomplishments, I'm going to look for that. So you want to upload all those documents. This is the grading group. I'm going to email to you. Are there any questions? No, ma'am. I'm going to email that and post it in Blackboard that that's what I'm going to look for. And we go back to get to the, where I was. Give me the report code. So you will select your files from your desktop or from your USB and you will click open and you will go and you will upload individual files. And I will go out there just to see if you have. Any questions? Tell me out. Simmons and Miss Vincent, you all have any questions, concerns? I don't have any uh, questions, Dr. West. I, 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 I've just tried to keep up with how you're uploading and where you're going with it. I, I'm trying to see how we're going to be able to help our students walk step by step with this one. Oh, I know. I, I know. Especially if they did not achieve it. Right. To see where the new project, where you see projects. You see new project class? Yes, uh -huh. ma'am. You will click on new project and upload files from new project. There we go. Type in the project name. This is BUS. This class is BUS 1330. And you can do that. And then for each and then upload files. So if you got videos or whatever, you can upload the link in there. So either way, you upload your files and just put each if Okay, class, at this part, you will see new project, which was stated um, previously. You will click on new project to add and upload your files. For those who are in BUSN 2210, you can add your files for your course as well and click on Upload Files.
And if you have any videos or YouTubes, you can upload them as well. But you want to make sure you go and upload your files that pertain to the portfolio. And so we've already uploaded your uh, resume, but we're talking about projects. We're talking about documents, your sample work, and all the other documents, teacher evaluations, all the documents that you were unable to uh, upload. You want to upload your references, your cover letter, your career goals. Everything should be uploaded. And then you can scroll and give a description. It, business technology is a description for or you can just say the name of your course and you can give your description here you can say uh, sample work scroll down and if you have skills you can also put your skills as well you know PowerPoint you can add that as well and notice that your skills will come up on your right hand side so you can just add as many skills as you like social networking you can add that as well and so just continue adding your skills you can type in you want to say Microsoft access and that will come up as well you can click on that and that will be added so you have all your skills listed any teammates you can add that any tags from your social media you can add that such as hashtag um, leadership whatever tags you have so you want to make sure that you preview to make sure that you have what you have listed for your skills and all your documents you want to make sure but see I have not added or attached any documents yet but if I wanted to I can always go back to back to editor Back to editor will take you there so you can just upload as many files as you like and then preview and then publish or if you haven't finished you can just say finish later so this is just the process for the ePortfolio and I hope that this is um, informative educational and that you will continue using this um, ePortfolio for your career search for your job search and for future references, keep this ePortfolio for yourself for when you want to advance on the job or change career. I hope that this was, um, was enlightening. And I look forward to looking at your ePortfolio. So don't forget to send an, a link. You can go in and just highlight and right click and copy your link and send it to me as an email message so I can view your ePortfolio. That's the purpose of this so that you don't have to give me a hard copy, but I can come out here and actually look at it. And don't forget, when you finish everything, you click publish and so that everyone can have access to looking at it. Okay? Thank you, and I look forward to your ePortfolio on Sunday, May 17th. Thank you, and have a good day.